is this why Sandra Bullock isn't on social media because of what Angela Bennett went through <laughs> during the night? You know well, on the Jess Cagle show, Sandra Bullock revealed that her 1995 hit The Net just might have scarred her for life. You just unearthed the social gem that I have been like, I, I, no one's asked me, so I figured they didn't want to know. I, I, I learned a lot. We met real hackers, and I remember people going, does that, does that exist? Like, do you think we could actually order a pizza from your computer? And I was like, yes. Wow. Mozart's ghost, the hottest man. Oh, don't do this to me. Do not do this to me. I am Angela Bennett. It was something that was so foreign to everyone, much like a bomb on a bus. The hacking, you know, was very foreign to people. Sandra thinks of herself as a trailblazer. I choose subject matter that's just, it's just so ahead of its time, you know? <laughs> yeah. Give me the floppy disk, Angela. Yeah. <laughs> it holds up. <laughs> but you have to say it really monotone. Look, I know she's kidding around, but I do think it probably had an effect on her years later when social media was starting up. Like, if you remember, some of Hollywood's biggest stars were hesitant to get on board with social media, like Julie Roberts, Tom Hanks, Will Smith, Jennifer Aniston, and Santa Bullock has never joined it. And I actually think it's been a business decision for her. Like, if you look, I think it's part of the reason that every single movie she's done over the past decade has been a hit. Because if you want to see Santa Bullock, you got to go to a movie theater, or you got to click on Bird Box or The Unforgivable on Netflix. You're not going to be able to double tap a picture of her on your Instagram feed. You're not going to see her dance to the latest TikTok craze. If you want to see Santa Bullock, you got to pay money, basically, to see her. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think of Sandra's decision to stay off social media 